next topic will be angle between the two surfaces by using the vector. So, what is the formula mean? Angle between the two surfaces. What is the formula mean? So, here cos theta equal to delta phi 1 into delta phi 2 divided by modulus of delta phi 1 into modulus of delta phi 2. This is the angle between the two surface formula. So, here phi 1 is the first surface, phi 2 is the second surface. We have to find out the angle between the two surfaces. This is one of the applications to find for the vector calculus. So, we know the formula. Now, we have discussed the angle between the two surfaces. So, what is the problem means? The, for, the problem will be find the find the angle between the two surface angle between the two surfaces x square minus y square minus z square equal to 1 and x y plus y z minus z x equal to 18 at the point we have given the point what is the point means here at the point 6 comma 4 comma 3. So, we have to find out the angle between the two surfaces this is a two sur one surface another surface we have to find the angle between two surfaces at a particular point 6 comma 4 comma 3. First write down the formula what is the formula here? So, here angle between the two surfaces the formula will be just write down angle between. two surfaces. So, here cos theta equal to delta phi 1 into delta phi 2. So, here modulus of delta phi 1 into modulus of delta phi 2. So, this is a phi, this is a phi 1, this is a phi 2. So, I can just write down phi 1. What is the phi 1 here? x square minus y square minus z square equal to 1 ok. Just find out the delta phi 1. What is delta phi actually? This is the gradient of the scalar point function. Now, I can just find out the delta phi 1. So, what is delta phi 1? Differentiation with respect to x the whole function. So, what do you get done here? Differentiate with respect to whole function. This is the getting the 2 x only 2 x i vector. The next differentiation with respect to y the whole function. So, this will take the what actually. So, here x square minus y square minus z square minus 1. So, I can just take note this is a what actually. So, 2 x i vector. So, here with respect to y. With respect to y now I get the what minus 2 y j vector. The next with respect to z we get the what minus 2 z k vector. So, this is a delta phi 1. We should find out delta phi 1 at the particular point. Which is the point here now get it a 6 comma 4 comma 3 just substitute the point this is a x point this is a y point this is our z point. So, therefore, delta phi 1 at the particular point. What is the particular point here now? So, here 2 into 6 here i vector the next minus 2 into what is our y? y is a 4 into j vector minus 2 into what is the z? z is a 3 into k vector. So, we got the 12 i vector minus 8 j vector minus 6 k vector. This is a delta phi 1. The next I should find out the phi 2. What is the phi 2 here? So, phi 2 is given function will be here x y plus y z minus z x minus 18. So, I just find out the delta phi 2. What is the delta phi 2? Differentiation with respect to x the whole function into i vector. So, therefore, i vector into what you get now here? Difference with respect to x now here get it a y. Here 0, here minus z. So, y minus z into i vector plus 
differentiation with respect to y the whole function. We got the here y not here x with respect to y yeah. So, here x plus z into j vector plus so with respect to z the whole function. So, here y minus with respect to z here. Yeah. So, we have get the y minus x into k vector. So, this is the delta phi 2. I, I can just substitute a point. What is the point here? 6, 4, 3. So, therefore, delta phi 2 at the particular point 6, 4, 3. So, here just substitute a point here. So, y minus z. So, what is the y here? So, here y now here 4 minus z will be 3. So, 4 minus 3 into i vector. Here what is x plus z? So, here 6 plus 3. So, 6 plus 3 into j vector y minus x. What is the y here? So, what is the y point here? So, y point will be here 4. So, 4 minus 6 into k vector. So, we got the what is the value here? 4 minus a will be i vector. So, here 9 j vector. So, 4 minus 6 will be minus 2 k vector. So, this is the delta phi 2. So, we got the delta phi 1 delta phi 2. The next find out the what? Modulus of delta phi 1. What is the modulus of delta phi 1 actually? So, modulus of delta phi 1 is nothing but we have take the square root of the and then square the function you have to take the square root 12 square. What is the 12 square? So, 12 square will be here 144. The next here square root of minus 8. Squaring of minus 8 will be what? 64. So, here 64. The next square of minus 6. What is the minus 6 will be 36. So, here so we got the 64 plus 36 will be what? What do you get now here? 64 plus 36. We got 100. So, here 144. So, totally you got it a what? Root of 244. This is a modulus of delta phi 1. The next modulus of delta phi 2. Similarly, what is the modulus of delta phi 2? So, here square root of what is the function here 1 square will be 1 plus this 9 square will be 81. So, here minus 2 square will be plus 4. So, we got the square root of 81 plus 4 will be what 85 this will be what 86. So, we got the square root of delta phi 1 and delta phi 2. Now, finally, have to just substitute the point substitute the value in the formula. What is the formula here delta phi 1? What is delta phi 1 here? You got the here no. So, minus 2 all 12 minus 8 j minus 6 k into what you are getting here? I vector 9 j vector minus 2 vector. What is the delta phi 1? What is the delta phi 1 will be root of 244? What is the delta phi will be root of 86? Just substitute, we got the answers.